Alright, David Harry here, and in this video I'm going to attempt to install a tempered glass screen protector by Moco to an iPad 10th gen. So the contents of the box are these two tempered glass screen protectors here. There are also two sets of cleaning kits as well for each of the tempered glass screen protectors. There is also this instruction manual here and it's barely worth showing you it because it is actually quite useless because it doesn't actually go into certain things to do with the cleaning kit and how we actually stick down the tempered glass screen protector and line it up onto the iPad. Now usually I would use certain tempered glass screen protectors that come with an alignment tool. This doesn't have one of those tools. So let me see how well I get on with this and we will just use me as the actual instruction manual and not this guide here. Now just before I go any further I would like to point out something really good about this screen protector and it is this cutout here as we can see. Now this cutout is designed to go around the camera and the microphone on the the iPad 10th gen which of course are now placed if you put the iPad in landscape mode across the top edge here. Now you might be sitting here thinking to yourself all right Dave well that all sounds well and good but why should you be pointing out a function which should be there anyway because without it that tempered glass would be covering the microphone on the iPad. Well here's the weird thing I've already seen a number of tempered glass screen protectors being sold which do not have that cut out there which means that they are going to block the microphone so that's the reason why I'm saying this is a good one because it's actually doing what it should do however there's this hole up here which is a cutout. Now I'm not entirely sure but I don't see anything on the iPad that sits behind that hole. But as long as this cutout is here I think I can live with that hole even if it doesn't actually knock through to any kind of sensor on the iPad. Now as far as what comes inside the cleaning kit is concerned we have got a dry wipe here. We've got a wet wipe there and then we've got this little bit of paper here with three stickers on. Now the first sticker at the bottom, the bigger one, is the dust absorber sticker I probably won't use that because I usually mess up with those things although I will show you what it's for and then we have these two stickers here which is what we use to guide on the actual tempered glass and put it into place on the iPad now I've never used one of these or at least I can't remember the last time it did so this is going to be fun in games so the next thing I'm going to do is to apply these guide stickers here now I'll just quickly explain what these are for so you put one of them somewhere up here close to the top and you put another one close to the bottom here and then what happens is you give enough space on them so that they can bend round or fold around to the other side of the iPad and they basically act like a hinge so we tape them onto the tempered glass screen protector once we align it on the other side and then that gives us our positioning for the tempered glass screen protector now I'm explaining that there because I'm not entirely sure whether I'm going to be able to talk when I do the install Stalling. Okay, so here's the first sticker here. Now what I'm going to do is just place it kind of like close to the top up here. And what I'm going to do is stick it down on the body of the iPad there so that we've got like quite a bit of it hanging off the edge here because that has to be able to fold around to the other side. Then what I'm going to do is do the exact same thing with the other sticker here. So give us a second, hold on. Just get that off. And we'll get that down to about here, I think. So that should do that there. Okay, so as we can see then, there's one sticker. There's the other sticker. And what I'm going to do now is to line up one of the tempered glass screen protectors over the iPad and then I will just kind of fold over these stickers so that it holds the tempered glass into place. It will probably make more sense as I do it so you can see what's going on. Now, what you need to do as well is with the tempered glass, what it is, one side, which is the underneath, has got this cellophane layer on it. So make sure the cellophane layer is on the underneath when you actually apply this down to line it up. So I might have to go quiet here because there's a fair old chance I might mess something up. So let me just go quiet and line this up.
Okay, I've got to be really honest here. What it is, I'm having a little bit of a time trying to line this up because it doesn't feel to me as if this is all lining up that well. Now, I'm not going to moan about it right now. Let's wait until I've attempted to put it on first. But nonetheless, I'm trying to get the glass lined up with this edge here, first of all, to give me a straight edge. But it doesn't feel like it's lining up properly elsewhere when I do that. Plus, it's also really slippy on the screen here. Okay, let, let me just kind of get on with it anyway and see how far I can get. And then I'll kind of, I'll judge it after I've put it on. Let's put it that way. All right, give us a sec. Okay, so that's a bit of a mess there, right? What I'm going to have to do is struggle to kind of undo these again. Because what's happening here, as I'm trying to stick these down, the glass is just slipping everywhere. Um, okay, right. Bear with me. I, I need to try and get this off as best as possible without wrecking it. Hold on. Okay, so I've got that on there as best as possible as far as the alignment is concerned. And what I'm using, like I say before, to align this with is this edge here and this has been very tricky because the glass just slips all, or the temper glass just slips all over the iPad glass now yeah I'm just gonna have to leave it at that for now and let's just judge it after it goes on but already the curve of the glass doesn't seem to match the curve of the iPad here but like I say I'll judge this once it's gone on so what I need to do now is to flip this back over this way and then, like I say, we just flip it back over once it's all cleaned up and stuff, and then that's us ready to go. Okay, so the next thing to do then is to give the iPad screen a good clean with this alcohol wipe here. Okay, so I'm just going to go all over this screen here with the alcohol wipe, getting right into the corners and making sure that I kind of get off any gunk or any kind of like dirt or muck that might be on the screen. Now what I'm going to do is take the drying cloth and obviously do the exact same thing but this time dry the screen and take off all that excess fluid once again making sure that I get right into the corners and make sure that the center of the screen is also really dry as well. Basically we just don't want any of that fluid you know left on the screen and stuff because you know it would come out over time but it's not going to help us when we try sticking down the screen or the tempered glass screen sorry okay so like i say you get right in there and make sure that the whole thing is like you know really bone dry before you continue any further and as far as i'm concerned that's job done for my one now what you should be doing is using this dust absorber sticker so basically what you would do which i'm not going to because i normally mess these things up just kind of fold this back on itself like that and then just dab it over the screen and that is designed to take off any of the excess dust that may be on the screen for me personally what I try to do when I'm not doing it as a tutorial I try and clean the screen really quickly and then get the screen protector over without using one of these because I normally mess up with these but like I say you just dab it over and take off the excess dust so what I'm going to have to do now is just give it a quick dusting over before I continue any further because there might have been some dust has gone on it now Okay, so now that the screen is clean and hopefully with no dust on it, what I'm going to do is peel off this film protector off the actual tempered glass and then flip it over and then start getting it down on top of the actual iPad screen. So let me just quickly get this off here. Hold on a second. Yeah, this is quite fiddly. <laughs> Hold on. Right, so that's off. Now let me just flip this over like a door. Okay, so that goes over there like that. And then that should all be lined up as it was earlier when I landed it when I lined it up in the first place. Okay, right, so I've put that over. Now let me just make sure that this one edge here is fine. So that looks good there on that edge. Okay, now that's just gonna settle itself down. So give us a second and then all that bubbled area should come out. Okay. Right, that hasn't come out, but 
that's not the end of the world. What I'm going to do is use this cloth here in a second to force out that bubble up there. But first of all, let's just give this bubble here a bit of a hand. Actually, let's just leave that for a second. That might settle itself right off the screen there. Okay, well, that looks like it's going. Let's see. Mm, nearly, nearly. Hold on. Let's just give that a little bit of a push at the end. Okay, so that's cool on the end there. Now, what I'm going to do here is to force this bubble off the edge here. So just give it like, you know, a bunch of pushes <laughs> to try and get it off the edge. Right, so what I'm going to do is speed through this anyway. Give us a sec. Okay, that's not going anywhere, and I want to be careful not to push too hard down onto the iPad screen here. So what I'm going to do is just lift up the edge very gently and pull it back and try and catch that bubble and let it resettle. So as we can see there, I'm lifting the edge up. Okay, now as soon as that hits that bubble, it will absorb it. So I'll oh, say that. It's chasing it. There we go. Oh, tiny bubble there still hold on and just come back a bit now i'm going to let that resettle on the edge there so i'm going to load it down gently oh look at that right out okay now give me a second i just want to clean this all up and take the little like tabs off here and let's have a look at it Okay, so I'm just going to do some close-ups here after I've just cleaned it up and stuff. Now, the first thing is, it has not gone on straight enough as far as I'm concerned. Now, yes, that's going to be my fault to a degree, but the actual lining up mechanism just isn't at all good. But also on top of that, I think that it is actually too wide for the iPad because parts of it are actually touching the, like, you know, the metal outside case of the iPad here. So that's going to have difficulties with certain types of cases. I'll try that in a second and also as well i don't think that the caves on the corner of the tempered glass match the cave of the ipad here so i'm not really at all happy with the way that this has gone on now let me just try putting this into a case okay so i've just tried three different cases and the same problem with all of them as we can see here what's happening is because the glass is too big and doesn't give any space for the case as you can see there the lip of the case is forcing the glass up there on the corner it is also doing it on that corner there. Let's see. It's doing it on that corner there to a lesser degree. And that corner there seems okay. But if we have a look there like that, I mean, that there is just totally unacceptable. Okay, so now that I've tucked the iPad back out of the case, as we can see, all of these corners have all settled down again. But that's no good to you because if any time you pull it in and out of a case, it's going to rise up like that. It's only going to be a matter of time before that won't stick back down again. And plus, that's just not how you want to use an iPad with a tempered glass screen protector on it full stop. Anyway, bottom line is this. It would offer you some protection if you were not using a case, as we can clearly see there. So the alignment issues are not necessarily a big deal when it's not got a case on the iPad. However, it still doesn't fit properly into the corners and things like that. And the alignment issue is still going to be there no matter how careful you are. Now, for me personally, I would recommend completely avoiding this at all cost, only because you're just going to be chasing your tail with this one and it's going to cause you more problems than what it's going to solve. Okay, that should just about do it for this video then. And what I'm going to do is try and find a better tempered glass screen protector for the iPad Gen 10, something which comes with one of those applicators so that it aligns the glass straight when it goes in. But for now, yeah, I'm not going to recommend this one. What I will do though is have a link to it in the the description below just so that you know which one to avoid if you don't want to go through this mess if however you're just looking for something quick in order to give you like ipad some protection yeah maybe as long as you're not using a case or anything like that anywho if you've liked the video please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel and getting all over that bell notification icon i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now